Okay. Hello on the interwebs. It is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. This is my first YouTube recording for the 21-22 school year. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Here's what I want you to know today. Every time you come to class, you should have your cactus notebook. When you're using your cactus notebook, your first page is written on. Yes. We did that the other day. You're going to open to your first blank page. So here's your first page. You're going to open to your first blank page and you're writing on the back side of your first blank page. No blank pages. Okay. No blank pages. So you want today's date at the top. Date at the top is on our slide right there. 825. And here is your review slide. Once you have the date written at the top, I want you to get to work. Now, I will not always have the review slide posted in class. You can find this in the stream. Normally, it will be the first post, but because of quarantine, I have another post here. It's always going to be right around the top somewhere, either here or there. Somewhere it will be, okay? So you can just click on that, and it will pull it right up. And this is what I have for, because we have kids on quarantine. So you're going to go, you're looking for the one that has this here on it, where it says review slide. That's what you want. So we're here on the review slide. The review slide says, Catherine had five cats. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for everybody to have the date written at the top of their new page. Make sure it's only one page and not two, because we don't have pages to spare. Catherine, nope, you're over here. Not over here. Leave that there for a moment. You're over here. You weren't here, so you're on the front. Perfect. Nope, that's exactly right. You did it right. Good job. Catherine had five cats. Each mama cat had a litter of four kittens. She also had two dogs. How many cats does Catherine have now? I'm going to give you two minutes, only two short minutes, to write down some thoughts about Catherine and her pets. Now I want you to understand something. There was not the answer right here. Notice how on my page, all my review slide work is kind of up here. You want to keep it nice and tight up here, okay? Keep all your review slide work towards the top of the page because then we're going to have class work as well. Go ahead. Your two minutes already started. Read the problem. Think about math. Do some math thoughts for Catherine and her cats and her dogs. If you're finished and you have time, go ahead and explain your answer. Trenton, are you getting some things written down in your cactus notebook? I already did, though. I already got it done. Awesome. All right, that is your two minutes. Now, class, class? Yes. yes. When I say class, you say yes. 
class? Yes. Class? Yes. If I say class, class, you say yes, yes. yes. Class, class? Yes, yes. Class, class? Yes, yes. When I say class, you say yes, and then your eyes are on me. Class, class? Yes, yes. Eyes are on me. Very good. I want you, we're going to go over this problem together. As we do that, I want you, if you see me writing something on my workbook, this is my notebook, so to speak. If you see me writing something on my notebook, I want you to be writing that on your notebook too. So you should have some notes. Keeping in mind that I want your notes, your review slide, to stay kind of up towards the top of the page, okay? Because we're also going to have classwork as well, not just the review slide. So, Catherine had five cats. Each mama cat had a litter of four kittens. She also had two dogs. How many cats does Catherine have now? What is some important information that we have here, Landon? Um, why are there dogs? You know, it asks how much cats there are. Very good, Landon. Landon says, why are there dogs? Do we need the dog information? Mm -hmm. No, sorry, Catherine. I don't care about your dogs right now. Uh, we're talking about cats. I don't even need that information. So I'm going to totally disregard that, okay? What is next? What do I need next? What do I need next? Um, Cole? You know that there is five cats and four kittens. We have five cats and four kittens. So we're going to do something with that five and that four. What are we going to do with those two numbers, Chloe? You got, you're going to multiply them. How do you know? Um, it says each. It um, says each. So I know I'm going to multiply. If you did not, If you do not have five times four on your paper... Will you put that now on your on your cactus notebook? Five times four. If you have five times four already, then you're good. Yes, Trenton. Like when when you told me what it when I when I opened it when I saw it it was that. Yeah. Um. That's what I wrote automatically. Cool. So it's five times four. What is five times four? Five times four. Twenty. Five times four is twenty. How do you know that? Uh, you could count by fives. We could count by fives. So we could have 5, 10, 15, 20. That's called listing multiples. We could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 4 kittens with each mama cat, right? That's what I did. There's, you could draw a picture. So now let me tell you, is 20 our final answer? This is the tricky part. I will. I oh, I did intentionally trick you the other day with that nonsense problem, right? Dump trucks and tomatoes and whatever all that was. It's not my intention to trick you all the time. It is my intention to train you to see the tricks. I want to train you to see the tricks. Okay? There's a big difference. So yes, I'm going to give you tricky problems. But I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to train you to see the tricks. So if I have five mama cats and they each have four kittens, this gives me 20 kittens. But the problem here is that the problem is asking how many cats does she have? So what do we have to include? Five we got to include those five mama cats, right? So 20, so you should be writing this down. 20 plus five equals 25. And I'm going to circle my answer real big. So if you have five times four equals 20, just put a plus five off to the side there. And then that's 25 and that's your answer. Now, under your read, can I use yours as an example? Look at Izzy's, uh, her review slide, her cactus notebook. Her cactus notebook, she has, look, Trenton, she has all of her information up here at the top. Now, she, don't, no erasing, no erasing. Okay. 
Now I want you to draw a squiggly line underneath all your review slide stuff. Because after your review slide, your classwork is going to go under there. And I don't want you to erase out of your cactus notebook. And the reason for that is because I want you to leave all of your math thoughts on the page. There are going to be multiple times where you turn these notebooks in and I collect them and I give you a grade. If I see a bunch of stuff erased, that's part of your grade. Do not want to see any erasing. I want you to leave it, even if it's wrong. And because we're going to talk about how valuable your mistakes are. Your mistakes are so valuable, especially when you can go back and figure out how to fix them, which I'm going to teach you how to do. Okay? But for now, we're going to go to our next slide. If I say the term listing multiples, does anyone know what that means? What does that mean? It means like if you were to count by fives or count by ten, you would hmm. jump skip. Counting by fives or counting by tens or jump skipping. Very good answer. So does everyone else is kind of like mm, listing multiples. I'm not sure what that means. Is that right? We're kind of all like, mm, what does that mean? Big fourth grade words. Whoa, right? Can I tell you that you all already know how to list multiples? You just don't know that's what it's called. I'm going to sing you a song. The minute you recognize the song, raise your hand and sing along. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and we're done. We're going to write that. Well, it's from last year. Three, uh oh, that's not going to work. Three, six, nine, write this on your paper. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and we're done. This is listing multiples. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, it's right there on the board, 27, 30, and at the end of the 30, we always draw a little line. Now, some of you are going side to side like this. Some of you are going side to side like that, and that's fine for this one, but from now on in the fourth, whoopsie. From now on in the fourth grade, we do not go side to side. We only go up and down. We only go up and down like this. Okay? It's going to save space. It's going to keep things nice and tidy. All right? This is called listing multiples. If I ask you, hey, class, list multiples of three, every single time you are going to start with the number three, and you're going to count by threes. So three, six. well, let's count it out like the real way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You should be writing if you don't have them already written. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 and we're done. 30 and we're done. You only go up. You only go to the 30. You only go to 10. And so what we're going to be working on this week is I'm going to be showing you how to use this list. 
Watch this. What's three times seven? I don't know, but I have my list. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-one. Three times seven is twenty-one. What's three times nine? Well, let's count out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-seven. That is how you use a list of multiples. Oh. Whenever I ask you to list multiples, what number are you going to start with? You're going to start with that number. You can list multiples of anything. You can list multiples of anything. If I ask you to list multiples of seven, you're going to start with seven, and you're going to count by seven. So what's my first number going to be? Seven. Seven. What comes next? 14. Count it out. 7, 14. 14. What's the next number? Who can raise their hand and tell me? 21. 21 is correct. Next number? 28. Next? 35. Next, cuz they're already thinking and now they're counting by seven. Anna, 42. Next, 49. 49. Next, Trenton, after 49, what's next? Unmute your mic. 54. It'd be 56. It would be 56. Excellent. Next. Count it out. 56. 56, 63. 63. And finally, everyone together, what's the last one? 70. 70. That's the 10. It's okay. Hey, let's make sure when we're in whole group, I want to see, I want to see more Let's see. I want you to, let's see, where is it? I want everyone here to feel respected. And if someone accidentally says the wrong thing and you're like, what? Then, then we're not feeling very respected. Okay? And so, that would be what we call spleen. Not okay. You want to change that and be like, it's okay. 70, 40, they're both 10s, no big deal, whatever, it's fine, right? This is listing multiples. Tomorrow on your review slide, I am going to ask you to list multiples. That's going to be the review slide. That's how this works. I teach a lesson. The next day you get a review slide from that lesson, okay? What if you're sitting here in class and you're like, Listing multiples is so hard. Oh, I don't like it. It's so hard. What are you going to do when you go home? Practice. How are you going to study? How are you going to practice? Huh? You're going to get on my YouTube. You're going to subscribe and click the bell on my YouTube channel. And you're going to watch this lesson right here again tonight at home. You're going to watch this exact thing, and you're going to see me doing this on a video at home. <laughs> if you are having trouble, get on my YouTube channel and watch the lesson again. If you're in quarantine, you have your Chromebook. So you will see the daily lessons right here under daily lesson videos. Okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. Thank you, everyone, in the interwebs and on YouTube. I will see you later. Trenton, you don't have to go yet. You can.